Happy Teacher Tuesday. If I'm familiar, I'm Miss Bree, a preschool teacher. Make sure to subscribe. Let's see what's on our schedule for today. Today, we are continuing doing letter G activities. And to celebrate again, I came grooving in my green clothes. Check out the music video. Grooving in my green clothes. Yeah, grooving in my green clothes. Yeah, I'm grooving in my green clothes. Do 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 do. Yeah. Oh hi there. It is such a fun and catchy song. Now let's get back to our schedule. We will be doing letter G activities. We will be doing not one, not two, but three activities. For our first activity, we will be doing golf ball painting. Golf ball painting. For our second activity, we will be making guacamole. Well, this is one simple recipe on how to make homemade guacamole. For our last activity, we will be going on a gold treasure hunt. Ooh. Do you think the kids will be able to find the gold? I guess we'll wait and see. Let's get started. For golf ball painting, you will need one to two golf balls, washable paint, plastic spoons, paper, a cardboard or plastic container that's at least two inches tall, so you're able to roll golf balls around without them falling out, and glitter. First, you place your piece of paper into the plastic container and put dollops of paint and glitter on the paper. Next, the fun part. You place the golf balls into the container and mo move them around, back and forth, up and down, all around. <laughs> what a fun activity that was. <laughs> and that is golf ball painting. <laughs> For guacamole, you will need an avocado, some lime to squeeze to make lime juice, half a medium tomato, salt, and optional garlic powder. For food preparation, you will need a small cutting board, a knife, a bowl, a measuring spoon, and a potato masher. A fork will work just as well too. First, you'll dice the tomato into small pieces. After you're finished dicing your tomato, you will set it aside. Next, you will grab an avocado and a bowl. And you want to choose a ripe avocado. So you'll take your avocado and you will half, half it, cutting it in half. Now you're going to want to remove the pit and scoop out the flesh of the avocado into the bowl. Wow. 
After all the avocado flesh has been removed, you will put half a teaspoon of squeezed lime in. You will put salt to taste and optional, a dash of garlic powder. And afterwards, you will mash it up. After you mash the avocado, you want to still leave some chunks, so you don't want to over mash it. And now you can add your tomato slices. And give it a little bit of a stir. And there you have it, homemade guacamole. This can be eaten with vegetables, chips, tortilla chips. You can spread it on bread. There are lots of ideas. And the kids will have a lot of fun helping prepare this. Like they can be in charge of mashing. For gold treasure hunt, you will need some form of gold. Whether it's plastic coins, chocolate coins, um, cut out felt pieces of gold, something that they will find at the end in the treasure chest. Next, a treasure chest. If you don't have an actual treasure chest, you can use a shoe box, you can use a plastic box, a cardboard box, and then you will need a map and clues. And how I made the map and clues work. For the treasure map, you will need a large brown paper bag, a pencil, permanent markers, and optional sticker gems. First, we are going to flip this bag over to the blank side. Then we are going to rip off the handle and rip off the entire blank side of the bag. rip it because it's going to be a treasure map so you kind of want that ripple effect. Now you will take your pencil and start to draw your map. Um, I printed out um, a compass so I could kind of copy that and draw that out and you can draw an island, you can draw trees, you can draw the ocean, um, whatever you would like on your treasure map, even an X for where the buried treasure is. And so when you have it all drawn out, then you'll go over it in permanent marker and an example, and it could look like And optional, you can add sticker gems. And when you're all done drawing and decorating you, your map, you'll crumple it up to give it even more of that ripple effect. And then unravel it and <laughs> There you have it, your map. Now for the treasure hunt clues, you will, you will crumple small pieces of the brown paper bag and either write the clue on it or type it up on a computer, print it out, and glue or tape it on. And you, again, want to create the ripple effect. And unravel it. And here are all six of my clues. 
Let's get started on this gold treasure hunt. The clues and treasure are hidden. Now we can begin this game. You would first hand the map and the first clue to the child. Knock, knock, who's there? Hmm, knock, knock, where would, where would we find that clue? <gasps> the front door! Oh, we got it right! Clue number two was on the door. Okay. I want to keep your hair squeaky clean and smelling good. Where do we wash our hair? <gasps> oh, the bathtub or shower. Yes, clue number three. We found it. Okay. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Pour me on your breakfast cereal. I like to pour milk in my cereal, and I can find the milk in the kitchen fridge. Clue number four. Round and around your clothes spin to be washed. Where's your clothes? The washer and dryer in the laundry room. Clue number five. Before going to bed, pick me up and read me. Before I like to go to bed, I like to read a book. I'm reading this book and I looked inside and there was clue number six. One, two, tie my, three, four, shut the door. Tie my, shoes! Where do I keep my shoes? Shoes? has to be around here somewhere. <gasps> I found it! Great job! You have found the treasure filled with gold coins. <laughs> I brought it out here to open. Or should we wait? Nah. Ooh, ah. We have not only gold pieces in here, but we also have gems. Gems start with the letter G as well. Kids will have so much fun with this activity, and feel free to go back and rewatch all the letter G activities. We had golf ball painting, we had, had guacamole, and we had gold treasure hunt. Comment down below which activity you're going to try, and make sure to subscribe, and I will see you next week on Teacher Tuesday.